Welcome third graders. Today we are going to uh, do a piece of artwork inspired by the book, The Princess and the Pea, because all of this month we are going to look at different books and the illustrations or how um, pictures can tell a story as well. And the reason we're doing that is because next month is March, which March is reading month. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the base of our bed down here at the bottom of our paper. I'm going to create a nice big long rectangle for the base of my bed and then I want to attach it to the floor somehow, right? So I'm going to come underneath of here and create two squares underneath of the base, right? Uh, which I need to make a floor. So I'm going to go ahead and attach the floor to that. Nice straight lines across as you go. Okay, now the whole story, The Princess and the Pea, is all about how um, the queen tries to figure out whether or not this lady is actually a princess. And she does that by putting a pea, look at our little tiny pea, underneath like 20 mattresses and then she makes the princess climb on top and sees how she sleeps so what we're going to do is we're going to start with our little pea at the very bottom and then on top of that we're going to create kind of the the mattress folding over top on either side like that and we're going to kind of come over to the edge and create our first mattress right here Okay, so you can definitely see that pea sticking out underneath that first mattress. All right, we're going to stack several of these mattresses on top of each other. So what I'm going to do, I like having a little fun with my mattresses going kind of one side and then coming to the other side again. The, the biggest thing you need to make sure of is that you're not making your mattresses get skinnier as they go up and make sure that your mattresses aren't kind of bending down. You wanna try and keep these lines really nice and straight going across. So I'm going to continue to come up and create a few mattresses on either side. And maybe this one's gonna be pretty close to the same place as that one. Okay. All right, so we don't have to have 20 going up because um, we're gonna run out of room really quick for our princess. So what I wanna do is stop when I get to about a hand width from the top. So you see my top of my page? I'm going to maybe do one more mattress. All right, and then I am going to start in on my princess. Uh, with my princess, I want to give her a nice big pillow. Look at that big old fluffy pillow. Okay, so it's kind of like a um, football on its side. And I'm even gonna go in and kind of create some lines for my pillow, right? So it looks like a nice pillow inside of there. All right, and then we're gonna create our princess right here. So we're gonna make a U shape for her face. All right and then little tiny closed eyes like that. A little tiny button nose, cause she's a princess. She needs something cute little nose, right? And then little tiny lips, right? Just a little line is gonna be more than enough for that. All right, you can do her hair however you want. You could make curly hair, like using a spiral. You could make it kind of curved to one side. You could give her bangs. So you can really kind of have fun with how does your princess look. I'm gonna give mine bangs and then kind of have her hair coming down and over her shoulder. Okay. All right, so there's the head of my princess, right? Now we need to go through and create her body this is the easier part. And then her feet are gonna be down here, right? All right, so there's our little princess tucked snug in her bed, right? Um, and you can even kind of create a little hand where her 
arm is folded if you want. Um, so we are going to be done with that part. Now, you could change the shape of the bed. You could make this a princess bed with where the lines on the edge here go straight up and kind of have a canopy over top. You could make a sleigh bed, however you want. You can really have a lot of fun creating your bed. Um, but once you're done there, the next goal is to go through and create a different pattern in every single one of these mattresses. Um, and you can kind of just think, remember pattern is repeating line, shape, and color. I'm going to do this quickly with my Sharpie so you can see it really well. Um, but you can do this with your crayon. And each mattress should have its own pattern. I want you to kind of come up with your own ideas for this. So don't just copy mine. Think about what, uh, what you think a mattress pattern should look like. up on my line a little bit there that's okay all right uh, maybe not one with polka dots now if you have watercolor this is a really good project to do with watercolor because you could color in parts of your pattern with crayon and then color over top of it in a different color um, for the background. I'm not going to do that today. I'm just going to use crayon all the way across. Um, but it is something to think about. You could kind of have fun doing that if you wanted to. Okay, once I'm done giving each pet, um, mattress a different pattern, I'm going to take my time and go in and color these. Very first thing I want you to do is find a nice light green and color that P in. You don't want to forget that. That's important because that has to be um, that has to be that color. Okay, and I'm gonna stop the video here and let you guys kind of come up with your own ideas. But I, I want you to finish the whole picture. Make sure you have color in everything um, and have fun with this. This is one of my favorite pro projects to teach because um, it's just really cute and it really ties nicely in with the story of the princess and the pea. All right, guys, I will see you later. I hope you have a wonderful week and hope you enjoy this project. Bye.